if you ever wanted to know how I deal with slow months on two row rentals, this video is for you. Let's go. But you two is a goddamn deal, man. It's really only pap. <coughs> Pappy! Let me go back with another video, back with another pap so we entertain and put you on game. And today, man, y'all see the title, y'all seen the intro. We're going to talk about how I deal with, you know, a potential slow month on two road because it does happen. You know, it happened a few times because when I had my rag back in June of last year, 2021, uh, it was just sitting, you know, losing losing money. And uh, I, had to, I had to come out, you know, some of my personal money because my car wasn't working. You know what I mean? So, uh, now ever since I got it back, I, I don't refinance the car. So now my note is a little bit cheaper. And, and and I'm ahead, but I'm gonna get into how how I how I deal with it. All right. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button for your boy. It helps the channel grow. We're trying to hit 5K. Y'all want your boy to grow, right? Y'all want your boy to grow, huh? So yeah, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram. Y'all already know what time it is, bro. It's Friday. I ain't got no job. I ain't got shit to do. But uh, you know we drink on the weekends. I got a little margarita in my cup. You know what I'm saying? Not crazy, not crazy. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, so pal, how do you deal with slow months on two row? Listen, bro. Ever since that wreck, bro, I made it my business to every time I get my earnings from Turo, I put it on the car payment. You know, I've been doing that since July. So right now, I think I'm like a month and a half, a month and a half, month and a half ahead on my note. So just in case I do have a little slow month, you know, the cars are already paid for for the month. You know what I'm saying? And it's really only applies if you have a car that you finance. Now, if you got a cash car, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that got a note, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it, it's it's gonna it's gonna get a little, a little dry sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It, it just what happens. But uh it depends on the months, the, the weather, and whatever case might be going on in your in your in your city or wherever you're located at, you know what I mean? See me, my my car is booked steady because I live by airport, you know, so that's where a bulk of my uh, traffic comes from, you know, people coming in on business trips, you know, vacations, emergency trips, whatever, whatever the case may be, my car is available. Plus, I'm an all-star host, so I'm on the first page anyway for Dallas. You know what I'm saying? So I had people book it on some last-minute shit. You know, it, it was a little fee for them because it, it was last minute. But at the end of the day, my car is booked. You know what I'm saying? Consistently. You know, sometimes I forget I own the car because it be gone for so long. But uh you know, before I got to that point, you know, it was it was a little a little slow, especially when I got it back from the dealership. The dealership, the uh the shop after the wreck. You know, but uh another thing I've been doing, I play with the prices. You know, so Turo has this thing where it has like a recommended price. And I, I put a little screenshot of what mine look like. Mine says like $35. I'm not I'm not putting my car up there for $35. You know what I'm saying? I know it's an eco sport, but goddamn, I'm not finna sell myself that short. Cause at the end of the day, that that note gotta get paid and the insurance gotta get paid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not finna go to Turo standards, you know what I'm saying? What they recommend the price is. So yeah. I, I usually play in the in the forties, you know what I'm saying? Like forty between forty and forty five. If I'm feeling good, I go to forty eight. If I'm feeling really good, I I market at fifty fifty bucks a day. You know what I'm saying? So play with the prices. Now, if let's just say I put it at fifty dollars and I don't get no bookings for two days, I go back down two dollars, like forty eight. And if I don't get no bookings within the hour, I go down like one or two more dollars, and then I just leave it alone. Me, my bookings come. And it comes bam bam like in spurts, you know what I'm saying? If I if I know if I get one, I'm gonna get two more for days up. That's just how it's been happening. 
ever since I hit all the hoes. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, if I get one booking, I'm getting two more after that. It's just facts. But if I don't get a booking after the price that I set it at, then I'll just come on down. You know, you know, because at the end of the day, we all in this two old market to make some, make some, make some money on the side with our vehicles. You know. And uh, you can't do that if your car is sitting. So play with the prices and see what happens. Now, if it's, if you, if you, let's just say I had it at $50 and I got like all my weekends filled up for the month, then for sure go down the prices, you know, by between two to $4, you know what I'm saying? Just to get, just to get your month filled up, you know? So play with those prices and Pay ahead on your note if you have one. Now, if you're having a slow month and you have a a car that you own, I'm I like to assume you're not really tripping. You know what I'm saying? But you probably are because of the insurance. You probably got, you gotta pay insurance. That's just what you gotta do. But it's really for people that have them 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 notes. You know, because like I said, it does get dry sometimes. You know. Uh, me, uh, I'm looking good. I have like a few days in the next couple weeks, like in the during the week, like Monday through Thursday. Like all my weekends are, are booked, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, here and here in Dallas, it's finna warm up, March, you know, spring break, all that stuff. So it's finna get crazy. It's finna get crazy. But uh, that's that's a quick little video. So pay with the prices and also pay ahead on your note, just just in case. All right, just in case your bookings ain't coming through. But at the end of the day, you gonna get booked, you know, but you wanna make sure that your note, your insurance is paid for for the month, all right? But that's gonna be a wrap for this video. I hope y'all learned something. If y'all did, drop a comment down below and like the video and subscribe to the channel and follow me on uh, Instagram. A uh, quick little video in and out. So I know people, attention fans, a little shout. I know my needs. So I like to get straight to the point. But that's going to be a wrap. I'll check the next video. Let's take one more sip. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. And I'm out, bruh.